as you can see, we have here Vanilla Vibes, and yes, here is the packaging. It does open like this, and you can see it has the. I don't know, that it is printed. I think it's laser printed. Julian has a gun, and the box opens up as such, revealing this beautiful bottle. It's multicolored, and yeah, I think it's it's a gorgeous bottle. Very tropical, very sunny, and yeah, that has been presentation for the Hill Vibes. At first spray, immediately you would get the salt accord in here. However, the sandalwood comes in immediately, as well as the musk. And I think the tonka beans is the one that's providing sweetness here. I don't detect any real vanilla in here. I think it's a tonka bean that's doing its thing, giving off that sweetness, as well as this phantom coconut note. I think that note is what the reviewers were referring to as the suntan lotion vibe. I think that's, that's the one responsible for that coconut accord or phantom note. Now, on my skin, this is a really musky, this is really salty, but not to the extreme though. And I think the name Vanilla Vibes, it just, it just alludes to the sweetness of the vanilla. Being uh, Tonka as the dominant note here, which is responsible for its sweetness, it's, it's just really a vibe. It's just a vanilla vibe. None of this is a tropical vanilla that you could rub in the hottest of days. Even at the beach, even if the weather is slightly hot, even if it's slightly humid. This would give off that sexy sun-kissed skin um, smell. The musk in here, it is pronounced. Sandalwood is pronounced. Salt is pronounced. Tonka beans and the coconut, it's just, it's just in the background. So. Don't worry about this being too sweet, it doesn't get really sweet, I tell you. It's mostly musk, sandalwood, and salt. How does it perform? Does it perform even? Is it beast mode or whatever beast mode means? No, it's, it's, it doesn't perform like a beast. Does it last like a beast? No. On my skin, it's six hours. On the average, hot or cold weather, However, the big however, it's its siage. It leaves this beautiful central and beautiful sexy siage. You know, I, I, I apply my fragrances here in my inner elbows and here in my neck, sometimes my shoulder. And yeah, I do get whiffs of this. I get wafts of this all throughout its six hour life. Whenever I try to do things here at home, whenever I'm outside, whenever I you know, whenever I move my arms, I get this beautiful whips. Even with the face mask. Yes, even with the face mask. It is there, it's making its presence felt. It doesn't scream so that you'd be complimented. No, it makes its presence felt. Subtly. Now the question is, am I recommending you this? Well, obviously it's not for everyone. This is not for me. I have acidic skin and yeah, I think this would last more on your skin if, if you're not acidic like me. However, I want my vanilla to be a little foody, a little, let's say a little like Spiritus Dublivini by Guerlain or Tijota's Indult or Indult by Tijota, whichever works. I want my vanilla like that, a little foody, a little smoky, a little... A little boozy if you want a tropical vanilla with a salty vibe with a suntan vibe with a little coconut vibe I'm recommending this for you there's not a lot of vanilla or should I say Tonka based scents that you can comfortably wear during the hot time at the beach you know and this one is a nice alternative that you may have Another alternative, if you don't have this in your area, is the Pacroban Olympia and Mugler's Womanity, which I think Mugler is uh, discontinued as of the moment. 
but there are your alternatives for this and yeah I hope you have enjoyed this review and found it useful and as always these are just my opinions recommendations and suggestions and at the end of the day you do you I'll be seeing you in the next episode and yes thank you I'm out